Welcome everyone to Old Roommates. Today on the show, we are revisiting the 1988 classic horror movie, Child's Play, starring Chucky. <laughs> so, be sure to check all your batteries and tune in. Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome to Old Roommates, the only podcast that revisits pop culture through a middle-aged lens. This is Brian. And this is Christina. And today we are talking about Child's Play for our very special Halloween episode right. of the podcast. Ooh. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. Um, Christina, in the past, we have talked about Jason and Freddie and Michael Myers now here we are with Chucky. Mm -hmm. um, I want to hear about it. We begin as we always do by talking about that. And when was the first time you saw Child's Play? The first time I saw Child's Play was at basically at like a party. I don't know. If, I don't think it was a Halloween party. I think it was like some sort of dorm party or something at college. But so I apologize. I didn't really. I mean, I watched it, I saw it, but I don't know if I paid as much attention to it as I would have had it not been at a party. I do remember watching it. I do remember being afraid. I Ooh. remember thinking it was really creepy and like, Ooh, what a concept. A doll comes to life and kills people. Yeah. And the doll was like really creepy and very scary. And I remember it being very scary. Mm -hmm. I remember it being somewhat gruesome. This mm -hmm. is my memory of it yeah. now. And pretty suspenseful as well. I never revisited it since. Wow. I haven't watched it since. Okay. Just because it wasn't really, I just didn't really love it just because it was so scary and creepy. Mm -hmm. What about you, Brian? Thank you for finally asking. You're Christina, welcome. are you okay I don't know over why. there? I do not know why. People my know. Phone is... This is old roommate's time. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. Child's Play for me, I saw this 1988, I was 16, so I think I, uh, or actually 15 at that point, I, no, I'm lying, 16, I think I saw this on VHS for the first time, Yeah. the first time I saw it, and um, similar, I felt like I remembered this being like scary Yeah. when he runs. And like really quicker to the corner of your eye, like the scene with Dinah Mayer. Yeah, those little, and all yeah, that those little, um, yes, the little foot jump, steps, sure. yeah, little jump, jump scares. And similarly, I felt it kind of gruesome and sick, like involving like a little kid. Yeah, I remember yeah. the bloody voodoo man. Yeah, uh, but I also remembered it being like, oh, like I didn't like the voodoo part. Like I kind of thought. It was just a doll that comes to life and starts killing people. Yeah, yes. And I remember thinking, like, after seeing the movie, like, did we, did it have to be this voodoo thing with this of the serial killer guy and this criminal and the you know it, and I, so some of it felt unnecessary. I think I almost wanted less of a story, less backstory. Yeah, yeah. a little bit more mystery, yeah, or or just a little bit more terror, like of this doll that comes to life, like keeping it super simple. Yeah. Um, but it was not a favorite. I mean, to be honest, I don't. So this is now there are six sequels. Child's Play 2. Unbelievable. Child's Play 3. Child, uh, Bride of Chucky. Uh, Seed of Chucky. The Curse of Chucky. And God. Cult of Chucky. And there's a TV show. So, um, but I don't know. I think maybe I saw Child's Play Part 2. I don't really remember, though. I never saw any of the I don't think if I said. Didn't they remake it, too? Didn't they re like actually remake it? Or was that another sequel? I think it was another sequel. So I think 2017 was Cult of Chucky. 2013 was Curse. There's a big gap there with like after Seed of Chucky and then Curse of Chucky. Seed of Chucky was in 2004. So, but I, I don't think I saw any of the sequels to be honest. Okay. And so, I mean, meaning it was like a one and done. I, I was like, okay, I don't think I need to see it. I get the party movie idea. Like, I get that because it, it feels yeah. like there, there's like, there's a level of joy in this movie. Like, I think like, that's like, oh my God, it's so wacky. Like Chris Sarandon driving the car and all yes. that kind of stuff with a knife. And you don't even see Chucky in multiple scenes where in something's most happening. most of the movie you don't even see. see. Yeah. You see his hand a lot. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> that was then. And this is now. When did you rewatch Child's Play? I rewatched it 
uh, two nights ago. Oh, wow. Okay. So I watched it with Matt, my husband, yeah. and my daughter, Emily. <gasps> Oh. A 14-year-old daughter. So what's funny is Emily's never really been like much of a horror right. person. Yep. But this year, she's like, Mom, I really want to watch some horror movies. Wow. And I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, well, she got into Stranger Things, and I think that kind of kicked uh, it into gear a bit. Okay. So my first thought was, mm -hmm. you know what? We could probably watch Friday the 13th. Because if you remember from a couple of years ago, we did a revisit, mm -hmm. and it really was not, it did not hold up. If, if you guys want to listen to the revisit, it was, I think it was... Episode 12 or 13, it was something very, like that. It was very yeah, early, very episode, early on, three years really, ago. really early on. Over three years ago. Over three years ago. Yeah. Crazy. So I'm like, I don't think, I, I remember being kind of silly. You know, it wasn't scary. Yeah. But I'm like, but it's, I think there was enough jump scares that it would satisfy her need to watch, yeah. like, a horror movie. Yeah. And Friday the 13th is, like, iconic, you yeah. know? So yeah. I'm like, yeah, we could watch that. So we're thinking about doing that. And then... I was thinking about child's play, and I'm like, I wonder, I wonder how that would be. And so I actually looked up this this, this site called Common Sense Media. I know that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I I go on there a lot if I'm not sure about something yeah. for like age appropriate for Emily. Yeah. And it's like 12 plus, 12 plus. Like oh. All around the board. I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, I think we could probably watch it. Yeah. In fact, there's a review. If you guys want to go there, it's really really funny. You look up child's play. There's a woman that talks about her her nine year old or eight year old daughter that watched it, and that she they were like laughing through the whole thing. I'm oh, like, wow. wow. So I said, hey Emily, do you want to watch Child's Play with me? And she's like, sure. She, the, yeah, it was not scary to her. Oh, it was okay. not scary to her. We kind of laughed about it myself yeah. ourselves, but anyway. So yeah, so Saturday that we watched it. Even Matt. So Matt does not like gory stuff. Yeah. And he was like, oh, you're going to make me watch this? He really didn't want to. But I think he, he survived. I thought he was, he didn't, I don't think he thought it was that scary either. Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, so really quick, this is November 9th, 1988, was okay. when this came out. Which, and it was a bit, I guess, controversial that it didn't come out on Halloween. Like, okay. it should have come out before Halloween. But I think they were probably trying to market, like, the, the Christmas doll. doll. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I watched this five nights ago. Okay. And Wow. Just moving at the speed of light, this movie, this movie's like 87 minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... And it takes uh, place barely, over the course of like two uh, days. I, when there's a point where Catherine Hicks says this, but she, he killed my friend last night. And I was like, wait, why? That happened last night. That happened last night. So, um, but I think uh, it just moves so fast. Like, there's barely time to really hate it. It's yeah. weird. And it's, it's a weird like, movie. It's a weird movie. The pacing is so frenetic and crazy i think um uh i'm gonna be honest i i don't even know it was 87 <laughs> minutes it was like i felt like i don't crawl the next day was like i think we were like oh did you what do you think of child's play and you, we just started laughing like, i don't, know how like, I don't I even know how i felt about it is it even a movie but this um i think i think i was truly i was expecting to hate it i was expecting to laugh unintentionally yeah laughing as expected it to look really cheap and bad and weird but um i think for what it is it's done pretty well mm -hmm. again a short efficient jump scare kind of movie mm -hmm. i did laugh out loud anytime i saw chucky like running upstairs, for example, yeah, uh, which, which uh, yeah. is clearly a little person in a Chucky outfit. And mm -hmm. that's, I watched the documentary, some of the documentaries about this. Oh. And I'll be honest with you, I, am the, I have the 20th anniversary DVD from the library. If you can, if you rent it from the library to everyone out there, get the 20th anniversary uh, because, or Chucky turns 20 or something like that. Because there's some good documentaries about the movie in there, including how the puppet. Uh, creator Kevin Yeager, I believe his name is, met um, Catherine Hicks, the lead actress, uh -huh. and they're still together and married and everything. Oh my oh, yeah. god! They had total crushes on each other. Oh my god, that's yeah. so funny. So, um, and there's a lot of cute stories like that of how Catherine Hicks and the, the the young actor who played Andy bonded because you know it's tough and um, to to just say like, oh, take this ad adult and this child, and they're gonna. Right. Act like a family. Catherine Hicks is like, I didn't have children. I'm not a family person. Mm -hmm. She's like, so I got cast as a mom, and it's my first time I get being cast as a mom, and I don't have that natural feeling for kids. Yeah. And so, 
Um, which is funny because she went on to do Seventh Heaven. Seventh Heaven, I know. Isn't that funny? <laughs> but, um, and so Andy, the actor who played Andy, his mom gave her like a toy or something to give to him and they bonded. So I actually like the documentaries more than the actual Isn't movie, that, I think. that funny, yeah. It's just interesting because these people like were like, I don't think definitely didn't know what was would become of Chucky, this iconic thing now. But um, I will say I liked it most when it felt like a total movie. Meaning, yeah. like, when Andy says, this is the end, friend. <laughs> <laughs> and sets Chucky on fire. <laughs> I laughed out loud. Was it was hilarious. such a movie moment. Um, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know if I even yeah, liked it. I don't weird, know. I don't like I, Did I like it? Did I love it? it almost, I almost feel weird to say that I liked it because it's it's so like fast and odd and that that style is a weird it's style very about... different it's a different yeah. movie than you'll ever see it's um it tries really hard yeah i i give it an a for effort yeah for trying you know like you said with like the backstory like it wasn't a necessary it didn't thing. feel necessary it would have been better not to have the backstory here's the original story this is from the documentary what's that so, originally, the mom was a CEO of a toy manufacturing company. Oh, okay. Well, Christina that, that, is... that explains the fabulous New York apartment she's living in. Chicago, Christina. Oh, was it Chicago? Yeah, it is Oops, Chicago. Sorry. Yeah. But here's the thing. So, they create this doll, and they have it where the doll has, like, flowing, like, blood. That it's a beating heart. Like, you know, it's synthetic. Yeah. Everything's, yeah. you know, it's a doll. It's a doll. But it's, like, blood and a heart, and you learn about, like health and all this kind of stuff but the kid andy um decides to be blood brothers with oh. the doll oh my god so get this so originally it was called blood buddy that was the original title okay <laughs> original original <laughs> script really, by the way the guy that wrote it was still in college when he wrote this script. oh my god so they become blood brothers with the synthetic blood and andy's real blood the blood you know, basically they form this, like, is it called symbiotic? They, this connection. Like, so like E.T. Andy, yes. So if Andy gets mad at someone, the doll <gasps> goes to kill them. Oh, my God. I love that Isn't idea. Isn't that better? That's a and, way better idea. And the thing is, the mom, being the CEO of the toy company, almost sort of, I believe, with the script is something like she she knows this is going on and downplays the whole like oh she God. because it's because the doll is a huge top selling doll and she can't fight the greed of like I can't stop this like oh people God. love this doll it's the number one making doll and and so it and I don't know how that script turns out I think it does revolve around Andy killing the doll but it's much more gruesome and sick and it ties oh into like the 80s greed idea and um oh i love that I like commercialism that and marketing i want to see that yeah. movie right so but that guy i believe his name is dan oh god i hate when i do this to myself uh i want to say dan martino or martino no steve <laughs> shit I don't even know it's like either Steve Martini or Dan Martini something like that and he's a young guy and he's but he's been involved in every single Chucky and I think there's a and then that's like his big thing like he's all about the world of Chucky so uh, but that was the original idea Blood Buddy that sounds like such a cool movie yeah it really and does and to that point like we're saying I don't know if I I don't know if the voodoo stuff is that effective although I did like the actor that played the voodoo master. I thought he was great. Oh, I liked him too yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was funny because I was trying to remember how it all started. I was like, how did it become alive? Like, did it get... St I felt like, uh, for some reason, I was thinking it got struck by lightning. Yeah. So I remembered a little bit of the beginning, but not the voodoo part of it. I thought, like... It just got struck by lightning and it became alive somehow. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was very fuzzy. Again, my mind not, might not have been super clear when I watched it the first time. Um, <laughs> but how funny it's... So, last week we know, revisited Dog Day Afternoon with Chris Sarandon. A very different Chris Sarandon. Very different Chris Sarandon. But, yeah, I, I was I laughed when he showed up. I'm like, oh, my God, that's well, right. He's in this. Not only that, the explosion of the toy store is not different, so different than Melrose Place, which oh we visited gosh, a few weeks right. ago. Revisited a few weeks Boy, ago. just all tying in together. My chair is squeaking, and I'm very sorry. I don't know how to stop um, it. So, anyway, yeah. So, I thought it was funny. It was called A Good Guy doll hilarious do you remember my buddy of course yeah. my, my buddy, buddy my buddy wherever, wherever i go. go oh i know 
he, no, he goes, goes I, okay. no, wherever I go, oh, he okay. goes, my buddy and me like yep. to climb up a tree. My buddy and me, we're the best <laughs> friends it could be. And it's and basically the good guy, good guys are Is my, my buddy. buddy. Absolutely. For sure. Um, I did write at one point in the beginning, please tell me Chucky kills Andy. When Ugh. Andy is making, and this is why I, I can never be a parent. Andy's making his mom <laughs> breakfast in bed. And everywhere. he is spilling shit everywhere. And it is giving me such anxiety. I can't, it was Christina, I everywhere. can't. I couldn't. The orange juice went into the milk. Oh. Oh it was just, yeah, it's such a mess. No, I was All really that sugar. not happy yeah. about that. I will also say the killer uh, runs into the toy store, right? And he gets shot, bleeding everywhere. Yeah. He grabs onto Chucky because he is covered in blood. Why isn't Chucky... Covered in blood. There's blood everywhere. Well, and doesn't he take it out of the box? He does. So he when does. somebody puts it back, back in, in the, the box. box. Yeah. Cleans it up, puts it back in. I mean, it doesn't sound like that. Um, I mean, maybe maybe he was diligent, but it didn't seem like that homeless person that sold the bo- <laughs> the doll would have paid such attention to detail. Exactly. Yeah, he wouldn't have cleaned the blood off either. And sealed the box back up? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. And he probably would have kept the batteries, let's be honest. But how funny was it with that Dinah Manoff? I know. She was great. I really liked her. Empty nest. Every, yeah. Ordinary people. Ordinary people, that's right. We revisited that. Ordinary people. Look it up. But when she sold it, she's like yelling at the guy. She's like, I think I dated him. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. But yeah, one of my notes is that it was a pretty beautiful apartment for someone who was a single mom working in a jewelry department. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Matt, Matt pointed that out. Absolutely. Way. Yeah. And Dinah Manoff, what's weird about her character is she is a tough talking gal. Yes. She is in dark alleys, wheeling and dealing with homeless people. Yeah. But she's babysitting in a beautiful apartment and she's terrified of the littlest noise. Yeah. Well, that she didn't no even know what it was. Made, that made no sense. Yeah. yeah, no, there's She's no like, reason why she should have been afraid. Andy? No reason at all. No. I mean, that made no sense to me. It's like, she's tough. Yeah. She's not afraid. And she even said something to her on the phone, like, oh, I'm just getting the all alone jitters or something. Like, like, aren't you alone all the time? You're a single woman. And also, you were just in an alley talking to a peddler. Right. Like, and you came back to get your friend. I mean, that's so weird. Yeah, I mean, it's it made, very weird. her character made no sense to me. Yeah, it didn't make any sense her, to me. Why either. is she so <laughs> Why is she so instantly afraid? And I just laughed. Um, (laughs) I didn't, I wrote, I think this would have been scarier without Chucky's point of view. Because something happened to me where I just started laughing, where when it became Chucky running around the apartment with the Mm -hmm. camera at Chucky's height, it suddenly became a lot less scary to me. See, I kind of liked that. Oh, you did? I, right. I, you like the Jaws motif. So here's the thing. Yeah, I, I liked that point of view better than if we had seen him running around doing it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like that idea of it better. Like, you see what's happening. You don't like that. You never like that no, point I don't of like view that. because yeah. you don't like to be the killer. In the killer. <laughs> yeah, you don't like to be the killer. So I, that makes sense to me that you don't like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of liked it. I thought that was kind of fun. I liked the idea that he was going after, like, he wanted to go after the, the guys that wronged him, right? So he's, yes. like, tracking down <laughs> in the seedy place of town. Like, yeah, uh, how Andy ended up on a bus without fa- air oh, fa- without The bus subway. Fare. I mean, first it was the subway. subway. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, crazy. All so these, crazy. These things. Um... Yeah, Andy, I I, I could have done without. Like he, he all of a sudden he like started to talk like a robot. Yeah, like Carl, a... Carl thought liked him. Carl thought it was a it was a good performance. No, thank you. I don't know. I thought his voice irked me a bit. It was very like, it yeah. Some and sometimes I just honestly had a hard time hearing what he was saying. I did my I had the subtitles on as I always do. But it... he, well, he talked like this. <laughs> he was he he. Chucky is over there. <laughs> like, that's I how know, children talk. I know who was on the counter. Who, Andy? <laughs> Chucky. Chucky. <laughs> that's how he I says know. it. Yeah, Ch- Chucky. Chucky. Oh, my gosh. The doll. Um, Although I did laugh whenever I heard 
but like the pitter patter with the oh, feet. Oh, the feet, yeah. Like that That's made me funny. laugh. I, was like, I know. It's a, it's a weird, the movie was a weird balance to it where you're not sure if you're supposed to be laughing or not. I was laughing. Yeah, it's, it, it, that's an excellent point. You yeah. really don't know I don't if you're supposed they, to be laughing. Right. I don't know if they know, but it's, it's not clear. But the, um, I will say, gotta love the sensitivity oh, of Chris Sarandon's detective. I Mike. gotta love the Is size of Mike? his gun. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Holy crap. He comes walking out. It's like a freaking rifle on his hip. We all laughed at that. Like, oh my God, have a gun that much? Go on. Sorry. <laughs> <He> sees... <laughs> what is her name? Uh, Kathy? Ka- no, wait, wait. It's, it? um, it's Karen. Karen. He sees Karen. She walks in. She's like, I live here. She walks in. He's like, Miss Peterson's dead. Oh my god! <laughs> my god! And it reminded me of a Golden Girls episode when oh my Trudy, god, she's dead. Trudy, yeah. yeah, it's like, and B. Arthur's like, wait, everyone, everyone, something terrible has happened. Oh my, I need your help. And Sophia turns and goes, Trudy's dead. <laughs> like that is truly how sensitive he was about yeah. it. Yep. Her best friend is dead. By the way, died very. You probably have this note. Very similar to. Lee Remick in The Omen. Oh my gosh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. We revisited The Omen. Go check it out. It's a great episode. We re- we've revisited the, uh, pretty much every movie. So yeah. The point. Omen, uh, she falls out. So basically, Miss Peterson, played by Dinah Mana, falls out the window. That is so insane to me. Oh my god. He hits her he hits with her like in a the toy. Eye. With a toy hammer in the eye. She goes she... flying. Yeah, I mean, honestly, flying. I don't think he should be. Pu- to blame. I really do. This is clearly an accident. She just <laughs> tripped out of the window. There's no way he had the force to put, like, he did not push, he, he threw something at her. That's yeah. what happened. He threw something at her, and she tripped clumsily backwards, boom, 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 boom and then flies Listen. out the window. Uh, I... So the landlord really should be to blame. I mean, how weak are those windows? Seriously. You should be able to trip and fall backwards into a window and not and fucking not lose your life. <laughs> she gra- and like she goes flying. She's like grabbing she does, the she, tablecloth yes. and she the whole fucking window frame busts out. The whole entire she thing. lands on a car. Yep. Oh yep. God. So that should have at least cushioned the fall, but yes, you're right. And then oh then it God. gets weird it gets even weirder because you you hear Andy say it was Chucky. Then Andy goes back and he says, I told you they wouldn't believe me, Chucky. Right? Mm-hmm. So you get the sense that Chucky is, um, I don't even quite know how to say this. Like, that Aunt, He said Aunt Maggie had an accident. That's what it was. And Maggie had an accident. And then he's like, well, whose footprints are these? And so Andy tries to cover it up. Like, it, oh, she had an accident. But then Chucky's tone totally changes because he says, Mom, um, Chucky said Aunt Maggie was a real bitch and got what she deserved. <laughs> and of course, I busted out laughing. And she goes, Andy, that's a terrible thing to say. It's like, who said that? He's like, Chucky. Oh my god! I can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop. I, and you know what it is? I credit the acting because Catherine Hicks is actually really good on this. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's really good. good. I she agree. is so exasperated. She's really trying hard. She's trying to be a good mom. She's trying, and there's a longer. So uh, originally, this movie's a lot was a lot longer. They edited the hell out of it. But Andy, it originally it started off with Andy having a very active imagination. So it adds oh, this layer okay. of like, oh God, no yeah. one's gonna believe this kid, and I don't even believe my own son. So it was a little, it was right. a little thicker in the original cut of this. It did. She did jump to the doll is alive thing kind of quick. Like, she did jump to that pretty quick. I mean, just because the batteries... Oh, wait, did he speak to her? He, um... He bit her. That's right, never yeah, mind. he bit her in the neck. Well, he said... You, he you... bit her in the arm first, right? Oh, the, the arm first, yeah. yeah. But he also called her a filthy slut. Yeah. Yeah. That was hilarious. He actually says, you effing bitch, you filthy slut. Yeah. You think you can fuck with me? 
That's after she she opens the bag because the, the batteries fall out of the box. Right. Yeah. And then she is like, wait a minute. So she goes up. And and this movie is so fast. I mean, this this it's everything so we're talking fast. about is like the first seven or eight minutes of this movie. Yeah, it's I mean, crazy. it happens so quick. It happens and, um, so so quick. And I forgot how fast this all happens. But yeah, she pull instantly pulls the battery uh, cover off of him. It's empty. His head turns around. He's like, "I'm Chucky. Want to play?" And the voice is much more menacing. Yeah. She screams, drops it. It rolls. <laughs> fucking so scary. Rolls. That is scary. Yeah. He rolls under the sofa, and I remember the first time I saw that movie, like. That was genuinely scary. That is scary. Like, oh, that was scary. Fuck. And of course, she lifts up. Like, I would have called Mike. I'm like, Mike, can you come over? And this doll. There's just, a doll. There's under a my, doll. Just, yeah. That, uh, without batteries in it, that is has a menacing voice and is now hiding from me under my sofa. I'm scared. Come over <laughs> with your gun. Yeah. The big gun. The big gun. Oh my god. Oh, I did think it was funny that they didn't want the boy to hear, so they just step outside. They don't shut the door or anything. <laughs> Did you notice that? I, I think Shh, so. Come over here. Yeah. Oh my god, I did think it was oh funny. God. So at one point, Karen's in the police or in Mike's car, the police uh, detective, and he's like, "Get out of my, get out of there, get out of my car!" And she rolls up the window but doesn't lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like a roll. It's yeah, like, it's you a think, total It's like, Karen, you think roll. he's going to yeah. pull you out of the car window? It's like, lock the door, for starters. Oh God, that's so funny. Then, at one point, what happens? Someone's, oh, Chucky says, oh. So he's in the car with Mike. Mike burns him with the lighter. And then he goes to do something. And then Chucky says, it won't do you any good. You can't hurt me. It's like, but wait, Chucky, you just got burned by the lighter. Right. And that was to challenge him with the bullet, and he got shot, and he bleeds. Yes. Yeah. And that's, and that's why that's he was like, he, wait, wait, what's going on yeah. here? Yeah. That's right. Um, I was surprised after, at near the end, when Andy is all of a sudden afraid of Chucky. He doesn't know enough to be afraid of Chucky. All this stuff is happening, but she, he doesn't know that. So he just sees that his doll's coming back. So it surprised me. All of a sudden now he's afraid of him, but he doesn't know anything about it. It's supposed to be his best friend. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, probably a deleted scene. It was creepy, though, how he was trying to turn into his, the, the boy. Like, I thought that was... I didn't yeah. like... That. I don't like these scenes with kids, like yeah. for real kids. Yeah. Because no, that was really... That was, that was yeah, pretty sick, yeah. I will say this, though. The... <laughs> it must have been a deleted scene as well because Mike I feel like there's a scene missing where Mike says hey you know what you were right about that Chucky thing because he tried to kill me last night yes he doesn't say that he doesn't he say that he says something like he paid me a visit like, he, like or something it was something like like, like yeah, light it was like very that li yeah it was like, I remember that yeah he's, he's forgetting to say that Karen was right it's like is he, I wrote isn't he forgetting to tell her that Chucky tried to kill him 82 times last night with him right knife? yeah and that, like, also, I don't know why he didn't just pull the car over. I mean, it takes as much energy right. to pull the car over as it does to keep driving at a high speed, not getting stabbed in the crotch. Right. Yeah, it was, that was kind of weird. Yeah, it was weird. I, but that was weird. It's like, she was right all along. You called her a liar the whole time. Like, God now you know. He admits he was wrong. Yeah, I didn't like his character. He wasn't, no, he wasn't a nice, like, I expected him to be a lot more... I don't know, just charming. He was all business. Well, then at the end, he just lays there. He was still conscious. He could have helped. Oh, my God, right? Help Seriously? her with the door. Are you He's not dead. Hearing? Wait. He's dead. Wait. He could have crawled over and just rested against the door. Yeah. Like the main door, like the bathroom door. So he's stabbing the knife right through it. Yeah, so that's, he was useless yeah. at the end. He was useless. Yeah, totally. Um, let's see. Helpful that Chucky is clearly in possession of the building's blueprints oh to God. know exactly what fire escape to jump down. No, makes no sense at all. Yeah, none, none, none whatsoever. Uh, this is the <laughs> this is the end, friend. I loved Andy for saying that. That line. was really really funny. Um, why? Oh yeah, the same. Why was Mike useless? While Karen was running back and forth. She was going everywhere. <laughs> she was running all over the place. Oh, my God. Closing doors, keeping doors closed. Uh, a knife-wielding Chucky. Yes. I just wrote. 
movie. And I didn't like it as much as I thought. I wrote, this movie never ends. I wrote, the endings keep getting worse. Like, did you feel this is never, that ending yes. is so long? It did not not feel like the Terminator. I fe Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, it was absolutely the Terminator. Yeah. Yeah. 1,000%. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. But I feel like... It, the ending was half the movie, like literally half the movie. It was long. It was so long, and he kept coming back, and then he was set on fire head, in the fireplace. Head flown off. She blew his head off. It was just like over and over and over again. You're right. It was the Terminator. Oh my God, Brian. Good it thinking. also didn't help that final cop, that other cop, was oh the God. one of the worst. I don't he even. I won't even say his name. I don't know who he is, but. One of the worst actors yeah, in a terrible. horror movie. I mean, and that's and that's for a horror movie. He's a bad actor. Yeah, so that's saying something. He is clearly like so much so that like uh, you actually it made me like the other performances even more. Yeah. Because all he has to do is act like this doll, this dismembered doll is strangling him. That's all he has to do. Yeah. Trying to rip his throat out. I didn't believe it for five seconds. It looked like he was kidding around. Yeah. And then the doll head was talking, and then. They're able to kill the doll again. <laughs> and then he says, and just the dumbest thing. He's like, and then Mike's all offended. He's like, now do you believe me? It's like, Mike, you didn't believe Karen for you the last two days. Last, yeah, exactly. Like, give me a break. And then the guy says, yeah, I believe you. <laughs> but who's going to believe me? I'm like, how about the three fucking people oh in the God. room? Seriously. You have an audience. Who's going to believe you? Three, The three people oh, that are sitting right there. It's all about him, isn't it? And he's not even... <laughs> he was like like second cop to the left. Like He did not have an important yeah, role Yeah, I don't even think this. he had a name. And he? suddenly he was so disrespectful. Like He was like Mike's buddy. And like and then suddenly he was like, hey, listen, don't touch the doll. Okay. He just grabs and the doll. And he literally just, just walks, walks out of the room and grabs the doll. the doll. Yeah. People, sometimes, you know, sometimes in these you movies... You just have to listen. People get what they deserve. That's true. Just like Aunt Maggie. She was a real <gasps> bitch. <gasps> I mean, Brian, or is it Chucky? It's the spirit of Chucky. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, believe it or not, that is. Oh, is that all my... my yeah, my notes my ended notes? a while ago. I hate to tell you. Did I say that already? Budget of $9 million, box office $44 million. No, I don't think you did. But um, I'm telling you, it's. I think it's... I, I'm going to say... I liked it probably about the same because I didn't, wasn't that crazy about it to begin with. Right. To be honest. Um, how about you? I, I would probably say the same. Like, it, it's one of those things, like, don't watch it if you want to watch a horror movie. Yeah. But I think it's actually, I feel like it's a good movie to watch for Halloween because it is so silly. It's a, it, it is. And I actually, when you said that 12 plus, there's no nudity. No, no it's language. That's all it's it is. It's language because, it, well, the, um. There's a couple of girls, I mean, the eyes. So the one, one scene that was really probably too intense for a child is yeah. probably when the, guy was electrocuted or whatever oh right that his was, face that got was dark intense. and yeah i forgot like his that. eyes are bleeding and yeah. blood's coming out of the, so that that is the only thing that i would avoid um if you have children watching this movie but the rest of it is just it's kind of silly i mean it's, it's scary it's can't be it can't be it's, yeah it can't be crazy like skill. yeah it's mostly you silly. can't take it seriously and it reminded me of um uh, the Simpsons, there's an episode where, I mean, it's been on for 20 something years, but there's an episode where um, Milhouse is researching this. Uh, he's watching, like, he's reading an original comic book of one of the, of a superhero. Yeah. And <clears throat> he reads, like, he fell into the, 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 this ordinary man fell into this chemical waste dump and got electrocuted and suddenly became this, the superhero. And Milhouse goes, so that's how it happened. Like, as if it makes sense. Right, you know what I mean? right. And I think that's what the problem with Chucky. It's like, I think it would have been better if, like you're saying, you just got struck by lightning. Like, it's like, I don't didn't need the voodoo subplot. It would have been much, much scarier if you just didn't know why this was happening. Right. Like, um, uh, Halloween 3 with the masks, right? With, like, the, remember that, the commercial, like, there was a commercial? Uh, it doesn't matter. But anyway, all that to say, yeah. sometimes... You don't need as much reason for especially a, with a, a horror, horror movie. movie. You don't need a bat like a real but, reasoning. Exactly. You don't but, need to. But I will say I laughed a lot. Yeah, and, we did. We uh, all laughed. Yeah, a lot we on we movie. all laughed. Um, and Chucky definitely has his place in 
pop culture. I will... Uh, oh, do you have a, have a match game if you're ready? Um, yes, I have one as well. All right, so here's mine. Okay. Well, there's a new big lineup of Chucky dolls hitting the market. Oh. But, oh, sorry, good guy dolls. Just in case, but just in case the new version has any bugs, inside every box of a good guy doll, the manufacturers are also including a free blank. Just in case the new good guy dolls have any weird bugs, the doll also comes with a free blank. Ding. All right, in every box of the new good guy dolls also comes a blank. A lighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I have first aid kit. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, my God. That is really, really good. I oh love that. Oh, my God. That's funny. All right, so here's mine. That was good. I, thought, I wasn't sure. I was like, oh, my, she's probably going to write gun. That would have been, you know, actually, I would have liked that, too. All right, sorry, people are texting me. I'm trying to find Oh my God, you're so popular. I'm so popular today. You are basically the on. good guy doll oh of um, the season. I am totally in. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Yeah. So the good guy doll was pretty creepy. Oh no. Right? How creepy was well, it? Well, I mean, oh. I'm just saying it is. Oh. It sorry. is what it is. Sorry. It's creepy. Okay. But, sorry, it could have been much worse. Okay. The doll could have been a blank doll. All right, fine. 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 It could have been a lot worse if it had been. Yeah. All right, well, this might be controversial. Ding. Oh my god, I hope, right. I, I hope I understood this question correctly. All right, good guy doll was pretty creepy, but it could have been a lot worse. It could have been. American Girl. Ooh, that's pretty good. That I find been them really a little creepy. scary looking. They're so They're creepy. a little scary, yeah. To me, it could have been worse if it was Betsy Wetsy, the, the doll that pees. Peed, yeah. Oh, as a killer. Yeah. <laughs> so she pees. So she, she pees kills everywhere. People. So not only is she killing people, <laughs> but she's peeing everywhere, too. And she probably gets really nervous before every kill, so she's peeing Or she gets so killing. excited she might let it go after <laughs> <laughs> she marks her territory. Like, oh, been, well, the territory. Well, they would have believed Andy more easily. So right? Like we found, oh, yeah. We found fake doll pee on the victim. That's right. Yeah. It would be like a way to track her down. Oh, my God. Oh, well, my God. That's it. Christina, happy, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to you. What are you going as? Do you have a, a I, costume? I have, I have absolutely no plans. No, I don't either. <laughs> well, Emily, Emily trick or treats by herself now, so. Oh wow! Yeah. What is she going as? Is well, she not by herself, but her yeah. friends. She is going as what's her face from from Hocus Pocus. Oh, Bette Midler's character. Yes. Nice, I good choice. Yeah, it was very. She's usually not quite as mainstream, but we were in the uh, Halloween store and. Wait, did you watch? It. Did you watch part two? I listened to it. She was oh. watching it in the back seat while I was driving. All right, she liked so. it. She liked it, not as much as the first one, but okay. she said it was a little, a little strange. <laughs> so, but yeah, so she wanted to do that. So anyway, I think she's having her friends be the other two. So, All we'll right. See. Well, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. And that's it for this episode of Old Roommates. Thank you for listening. For bonus content, please visit us at patreon.com slash old roommates. And follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, at Old Roommates. Thanks for listening. Until next time. <laughs>